welcome back to Clinky. I'm Mark. I'm Diane. And today we are taking a look at Weller Special Reserve. Yes, this is a big boy. This is 1.75. See how big it is? Um, this sells for um, $50 here in Ohio. Um, the $750 is $23. Um, this is a weeded bourbon by Buffalo Trace. Um, some of the Wellers, or though I don't think this one, are sometimes referred to as Baby Pappy, because Pappy is also a weeded bourbon. Anyway, um, this comes in at 90 proof. Okay. All right, we're just going to... Smells relatively tame, I think. It does. I get, I get some uh, dried fruit on the nose. I don't know if you do. Yes, uh, would it be crazy to say like apricot? No, it wouldn't be crazy to say apricot. Um, because whatever fruit, it, I, I'm not getting a specific fruit, but it's definitely um, something with a high sugar content because I'm definitely getting some, some kind of like um, sugariness, sweetness mm. on the nose. It's got a nice color. It's, it's got a nice color. It's kind of light, but you'd expect that from a, um, from a weeded bourbon. I don't think it has a year statement on it. Oh, straight bourbon. So it's, it's at least, what is that? At least two years, at least four years. I think, I think it's two. I think it's two. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. So, um, do we want to just try this puppy now? Sure. I'm trying to think what else. There's something else. Hey. I don't know. There's something else in there. Yeah, hay, straw. I don't know. What is that? I don't know that I've ever smelled hay in a whiskey. Clinky. Hope it doesn't taste like hay. <laughs> Probably not. That's a weeded bourbon. Mm hmm. Yeah, it is. Um, 90 proof, it is, it's, uh, there's no burn. No. Nothing. No. Uh -uh. No. Um, yeah, this is pretty easy to drink. Um, I don't know that I put this in a cocktail at all. I was about to say, yeah, I don't think this one would stand up in a cocktail at all. Mm -mm. It would be lost. Um. Maybe that's what you want. Um, I certainly also would, I, I would not add ice. Cause that was not no, it doesn't no, work. um, you could possibly add a, a drop or two of water. I don't even know why you would need to necessarily. You could, um, and technically we probably have because these were just rinsed out. It's, it's good. It's, um, it's fine. I come to bourbon from Islay Scotches, so that's where my taste palette is. Like, I jokingly tell bartenders, I think my booze should punch me in the throat. Um, this is not a punch you in the throat no. bourbon. This is, um, you know, for 50 bucks for 1.75, this is, this is a fine serviceable bourbon. It's not, Yeah. it's not expensive. I think if you, I think this would be fine for those folks who are very new to bourbon and haven't had it, or people who are used to drinking bourbon on the rocks or whiskey on the rocks, and you want to try something different, or you want to try a weeded bourbon. I mean, yes, it's affordable. Um, while I'm not going to say it's anything noteworthy, um, I would also say there's nothing really negative about it. It is inoffensive maybe you want something a little more remarkable for your money but it's but some, it's fine but sometimes you don't i mean this would be okay you're we're filming this in november you want to make eggnog i think this would be a lovely addition to your eggnog like real oh. eggnog like not you know, sure if you just want to booze up a cocktail and not have it really taste super bourbony this would probably be a decent one yeah I yeah. Th yeah, I think this would be, I think this would be fine. Or, you know, you're having a party or whatever, and you want to set something out. This oh, yeah. 
This yeah. looks really impressive. It's a weeded bourbon. People who like bourbon are probably going to want to drink it. People who are new to bourbon, it's easy enough to have them try it. Um, the color is fine. The color's fine. It's a little light. It looks really dark here in this big, huge bottle. But once you get it in the glass, it's it's a light caramely color. Uh -huh. I'm tasting a lot of corn. Are you tasting a lot of corn? Yes, now that you say that. I am. Uh, yeah, it's, it is a, it's an average bourbon. Well, and I, I will, I will say this because I had to look up the pricing because I purchased this, um, a while ago, probably a year ago or so. Um, and Weller is one of those that has got jacked up in price. Um, I don't believe this one has really jacked up in price. I think it's the 107 that has now gone okay. to, a, to a much higher price point. Um, but this one, yeah. I mean, yeah, 90 proof. It's, it's, yeah, it's, I think it's, I think it's, you know what? If you're looking for something for the holidays to give that person that you don't know, but you know they drink whiskey or you know they drink bourbon, I think a seven fifty of this for twenty three dollars for you know that yes. girlfriend's father that you're not sure you like very much or it is girlfriend's mother. It is yes at its price. I'd be point, happy to get it. Totally worth it at the price point. Absolutely, mm -hmm. for sure, for sure. And and in Ohio, Bourbon Trace just Bourbon Trace is has been very difficult to find. This was super difficult to find about a year ago when I got it. Um, but now, it I don't know if this particular I don't know if Special Reserve is sitting on the shelves. I think it is. I've seen it a bit. I know 101, 107, Antique One Hundred Seven since I jacked up the price is sitting on shelves. Um, yeah. But this is this is a very fine, very serviceable. Yeah, if you're coming to my house for the holidays, bring me a bottle. I'll, I'll be okay with that. Bring me an eagle bear. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, if you can find it. So. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Thank you.